yeah i'm so pumped up today welcome back to another one thank you for watching our last video in case you did thank you god bless you for doing that wonderful so job in this video today i'm going to share with you uh, how you can create lower thirds and not only creating lower thirds but what you need to consider to create amazing lower thirds if you don't know or you're not aware uh, what we mean by lower thirds i'm going to define it for you but before we do that go ahead and subscribe to our channel in case you're new here this channel is all about transforming you to make you a better designer a better content creator a better filmmaker and even to make you different to stand out from the crowd in case you're a business person you're an entrepreneur and you really want to stand out from the crowd still this is a channel for you let's roll the intro Lower thirds simply means a combination of text and graphics elements that are placed at the lower uh, at the lower third of your screen. So how do you create amazing lower thirds to look professional? I'm going to show you how you can create them, but before we do that, let me just give you a few tips you need to consider where to get amazing lower thirds. You need to consider the brand, uh, the brand guide in case you're dealing with an agency or maybe with a well-organized uh, maybe company and they have some bl brand guide please ask them to send you that cheat so that you can follow their brand guide in a brand guide what you need to see there is the color of the brand or the company or any business or a person in case they have some specific colors and the typography by typography i mean uh, the font they use in case they have a specific font go ahead and ask them or maybe read from that so that you can create and include the color and the type of that uh, brand then what you need to consider next is the audience in case you're creating for children what you have to know that children wants uh, they want fun things very dynamic so that they can be entertained they don't want things that are really boring but if you again you're creating for a corporate world it is different story uh, you need to create something that is really simple very elegant because corporate people want simple thing they don't want those dynamic things things which keep on moving they can destruct uh, that corporate audience and lastly what you need to consider is the size and the placement where are you going to place the lower third are you going to place it here uh, on the left side or you're going to place it down here on the right is this the right or the left i think this is yeah whatever right or left so you need to consider where you're going to place them and even the size don't make it very tiny and again don't make it so big to distract the audience because don't forget in our definition we say that they are used to add information for the viewer in case someone is talking about a certain verse and you need the viewer maybe to remember that verse and write it down is the reason as why we include lower thirds in our videos in case you've not been including lower thirds in your video my friend you've been missing a lot because lower thirds improve or increase the value oh uh, yeah the value of your video so in case you've been missing to do so i'm going to show you how you can create lower thirds for yourself and we're going to do this in premium pro and even after effect so we're going to start with drawing the shape then after drawing the shape we animate it after animating the shape we go next to the to the text we animate the text and we are done as simple as that so let me show you how we can do that we're going to go to essential graphics if you cannot find essential graphics simply go to windows then you look for essential graphics and click or check on it it will be revealed in your panel and arrange it where you want to put it you click on this new layer then you look for vertical uh, not vertical text but rectangle then after that rectangle it comes up here we're going to put it in a shape that we want then we put it down here uh, if your screen you cannot see these guidelines you just go to uh, you go to settings where your programs monitor is and you look for show uh, show safe margin rather safe margin and you just check it if you uncheck it they go away if you go there and check it safe margin then they will come why do you need them because our lower thirds we should not we should make sure that they are not down here because they will not be reviewed on some screens you always make sure that you inside this first one uh the first uh the first uh, margin here then the last one this outer one shows you that you're not supposed to go beyond that you're not supposed to go beyond that because some screens some tv screens are zoomed into the extent that your lower thirds will not be revealed so always make sure that your self margin is shown so that you can be guided well 
we make it blue like that so this is our shape we want our shape to animate starting from here then it comes right here just revealing from here starting from zero then it comes here here i'm going to apply another effect so i'm going to go to effects then look for linear linear wipe effect right here i've just typed in here uh, then you apply it on your shape like that then you go to your effect control panel uh, effect control panel then you look for your linear wipe effect down here then we're just going to animate the transition from zero to a certain number so let me show you what happens if you try to increase this value maybe from you see it moves it away then that is what we want we want it to start from there then it reveals like that like that so that is interesting and that is our first shape so we need to create another shape up we're going to create another shape up how by simply duplicating this by simply duplicating this as the shapes reveal as the shapes reveal i want even my text to reveal from down here then it comes to the shape so i'm going to show you how we can do that we go to effect control panel after making sure that you're on the layer on the track on the track of the cinematograph or the text then you go to opacity opacity then you just grab that rectangle and you move your rectangle where it is like this in case you've just clicked on the rectangle of course the text will not be revealed by the moment you move it where the rect uh, where the text is it will be revealed like that so i'm going to make sure that my rectangle uh begins from the bottom here just touches where uh, the shape is ending so that our text when it is moved down animated it will not start from down here at the bottom but it will begin in me exactly from here like that so that is what we are looking for and we're going to do the same for even the upper one like that wow that is so amazing i love what we have so far so we're going to duplicate this by simply uh, placing the alternative button then you move it up then you let it go yeah like that so this is what we have this is our animation it is so beautiful i am kind of liking it uh, even you you can go ahead and create yourself uh, one of this kind in premium pro so let's go now to after effects and see how we can create uh, the same animation in after effects all right here we are in after effects so in after effects it looks a little bit different from premium pro as you can see our timeline does not have tracks here it works the same way like in photoshop what you have to do first is create a composition like you can see mine is already created here but if you don't know how to create a composition in after effects you go up here and you look for composition then you right you click then you look for new composition the shortcut is ctrl n or maybe you go to project panel then you right click and go to new composition then you create your, com your composition like you see mine here lower third i've even named it lower third so let's go ahead and create a shape like we created it in after effects uh, rather in premium pro and then animate it then after doing that we uh we write it our text then animate it then we are done as simple as that so let me show you how we can do it here in after effects here we're going to do it a little bit different uh not like the way we did it in uh in a premium pro in a premium pro we went to, to go uh, to uh to essential graphics then we used a rectangle we drew a rectangle here but this time around we're going to use a pen tool then we just draw a stroke then we animate that, that stroke to be our shape let me show you what i'm talking about so you go to the pen tool up here uh, you have to make sure that your stroke is a little bit maybe like around 70 or 80 or any size that you want uh, then you come and you draw your shape where you want it to start and end but you make sure that you're placing uh, shift then you click and move then you click just like that as simple as that so our shape now is done we have a shape we have a rectangle right here which is going to act as our background shape where our uh, where our text is going to uh, is going to be placed on top here so now you can see down here in our timeline we have a shape already created this shape we're going to create uh, we're going to name it so that we keep our work organized and you should always organize your work as a uh, as a mographer or maybe someone who really want not to have hard time when it comes to dealing with this program you should always make sure that your work is well organized so we're going to give it a name we're going to name this one to be down a uh, down shape or bottom shape whatever uh, down shape sorry shape uh, like that 
then we're going to animate it by simply going here you will click on this arrow uh, which tells you that down there are some options then you go to add all this animation but on your right uh, you click on it you look for trim pass we're going to animate the trim pass uh, in premium pro we animated the transition by simply adding an effect which was the linear wipe but here we're not going to use any effect we're just going to use this animation uh, tab here this button here then we add a certain property which is the trim pass so we're going to animate the start you can see if you increase to 100 it goes away if you take it down to zero uh, it comes back is f9 then if you will play this is what we have so far but we're going to make it more interesting by highlighting both then we go to the graph editor so that we try to create that curve like the one we created in premium pro and we're going to duplicate this we're going to duplicate it by simply placing the shortcut which is ctrl d here how am i going to animate it starting from down here where the shape ends at the bottom then it reveals going up like we did it in premium pro here we're going to duplicate we're going to duplicate this top and uh, then we move it up here like this if you try to move it up down like this you can see that it hides itself even if you move it up it hides itself though what the alpha mat has told our shape is to to become the mask so we're going to animate our text by simply adding a keyframe boom just like that let's see boom and see yeah that is our animation that we have so far all right hope it wasn't very hard for you maybe to cop up in those programs in case you learned something out of this video please go ahead and subscribe and even hit that bell button so that you don't miss a new video every time we put it there so thank you for doing that god bless you as always repent because the kingdom of heaven is very near i love you all bye bye